Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, with a massive, very heavy package addressed to SPC tile and flooring samples. <laughs> Which I just love, because very obviously this is full of knives. This is a mystery box full of knives. This came to me by way of uh, Knife Nerdery. Kevin, Knife Nerdery, love you, dude. But it came to him by way of a very special mystery person. And, uh, you know, and we're just going to leave it at that. I don't know what's in it. I've been sitting on this package for damn near a month because I just haven't had time to really dig in. I have time today. We're going to dig in. God help us. I have no idea what's in it. We're going to find out together. <laughs> That's right, it's finally time. It's finally time. It's been sitting over there in the corner of the office for a month. And uh, you know what? I said, screw it. It's a sh pissy, sh rainy day here in the gr in the tri-state area. By the way, Dark Bolt Arcus is what we're using. I just unboxed this. Uh, Kevin, you didn't faff around, did you? On the uh, tape job here, dude. Jeez, old Pete. Well, let's see. Try not to injure. I mean, it is packed. This thing is packed to the gills, man. What? It's a whole roll of knives. And a fix... Is this a fix? <laughs> Doug Ritter fixie? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It's two rolls? <laughs> okay. Okay, nothing left in there. See ya. Oh, no, garbage. Uh, wow, wow. So we have the Doug Ritter fixie right off the bat. Um, I don't even know how to, how to, uh, God. I'm not wearing a ring. I'm a terrible husband. Forgive me, my sweet dearest angel. What do I do? What do I do? Sh blue or black? Uh, vote now in the comments. You ran out of time. I'm going blue. Uh, we're just going to crack her open, dude. I, I don't know... And we're just going to take this one by one. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what we're going to start with? We're going to start with a, with a, with a, a Dub Ritter double feature. That's what we're going to start with. This is going to be a multi-part series. I'm going to pick the ones I haven't reviewed and do a video of them. It'll be the Mystery Sack series. But we're gonna start with a two for God bless. Trying not to injure those, they're not mine. How about a Doug Ritter double feature? You wanna hear something crazy? I have never, in the history of this channel, even handled the, a Ritter Hogue. The RSK Mark I. I don't know, future me, is this the mini or the full size? It feels like the mini. I feel, I feel like the full size is much bigger. I think this is a mini. Feels like the Mini. The Mini RSK. I've never had one of these on the channel. It's so lauded. Everybody loves this knife. Let alone a Big Daddy Doug Ritter Fixie. Look at this thing. In S45VN, beautifully textured G10 handles. Uh, held on by some T8 screws. Those, those Hogue T8 screws. Hogue USA, made in America. Contoured handles. Full tang. I'm talking full tang. Capiche? Uh, let's talk about the Fixie real quick. First off, let's do open size comparison. Why not? Let's get weird with it. Spyderco Pair 3. Yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> Tactile Knife Curl walk, Rock Wall. Yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> it's big. It's got some It's got some, some size to it. it. What the fart? Get in the center of frame. Yeah, dude, it's a big knife. It's a Fixie. Uh, bigger than any Fixie I own. At least any decent fixie. I have like garbage fixies laying around that I beat up the, the landscaping with. But this is nice. This is very nice. The blade is kind of subtly canted forward. Really good. It gives you more leverage through cutting tasks when you're slicing through your enemy's flesh, you know. We have some really nice jimping here. A subtle thumb ramp as well. So when you're choked back, thumb lands right there. Oh, and you're locked and loaded. Super comfy scales. Really nice grip from the texturing, natural texturing there. That feels really nice. Uh, feels really good. We have this big old, uh, what do they call this? Future Me handguard of scabbard. I'm not a sword guy. I'm not a fixed blade guy. Forgive me. I'm a folding pocket knife guy. But yeah, you can kind of get up here. Can you pinch grip this behemoth? Yeah. Uh, 
15% of the day, why would you ever bench grip like a 12-inch plus fixed blade? You wouldn't, is the answer. You simply wouldn't. But yeah, very nice. We have that kind of polished stone wash finish on the blade. It's all. It's not all that heavy. We do have a lany lanyard loop back here. We have this little uh, exposed piece of the tang for bashing skulls, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's nice. Doug Ritter's a legend. Uh, all of his knives are, are are beloved by all, and I've never handled a single one. It's kind of a crime. But yeah, that's very nice. Future me, what is this called? The Doug Ritter Fixie? Uh, RSK Fix Blade? I don't know. Um, I do want to get a size on this thing, just to give you an idea. Nine inches. Oh, it's not all that big. Nine and a quarter inches overall. It's really not all that massive. Okay. Reasonable, uh, you know, full-size fix blade. I'm here for it. It seems so much bigger. Like, I have nine-inch pocket knives that don't... They don't feel that big. Anyway. There you go. The Doug Ritter... How much is this, by the way? There you go. If you're interested. Now then, the RSK... This has to be the Mini. RSK Mark One Mini... Uh, delightful, but this is what he is known for now. A portion of all the sales go to Knife Rights, which is a, uh, a group that protect knife rights. They do a damn good job. We do a fundraiser every year. They're amazing people. We love them. We love you, Doug. But this is nice. We have that same kind of starburst milling on these G10 scales. Uh, we do have little liners tucked away up here, but the rest is just solid G10. Uh, we do have some standoffs as well. Nice texturing back here. It is an axis lock, a little bit of jimping, kind of softer jimping on this guy. Reversible pocket clip, love to see it. T8 hardware all the way around. Very, very nice. Simple, clean. Close size comparison, Spyderco Pair 3. Yeah, this has got to be the Mini. Smaller than a pair of 3, right? And just a hair bigger than the rock wall. So right in between my two, uh, my two size comparison knives that I always use. How does this go in there? Go in your sheath sword. So a great size. It's super lightweight. Like, super duper lightweight. We do have a really nice deep carry clip as well. Enough, it's like not a lazy clip either. That's a really well thought out deep carry clip. I approve. I do want to flick her open. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Simple, clean, no nonsense drop point. Very much the same blade shape we saw on the fixed blade. 20 CV made in the USA by Hogue Knives. God bless them. Really thin blade stock. Nice, tall, flat grind. Again, that kind of polished stonewash finish on there. Very, very good. And again, mini RSK. Mini RSK, so, yeah. Dude, right at rock wall size open, and, and about an inch smaller than the pair of three. Really good size for a light duty EDC, man. Very, very good. Now then, Ergo's in hand, choke back. I can still get a four finger grip on there. Again, we have that nice thumb ramp. Thumb lands right there, that feels nice. Good texture from that uh, pattern on the G10. I'm locked in here. I'm locked and loaded here, Chief. I feel just fine. Fine and dandy. Um, you can kind of choke up right about here. I wouldn't go any further. It gets sketchy, but that feels good as well. I feel feel right at home. You know? Feels good. How about the old pinch grip? No real choil. We have a tiny little sharpening choil, but the pinch grip's a little sketchy 20% of the day. About the same as the fixed blade. It's just a little awkward. Even on the mini, it's a little. It's not a pinch grip kind of knife. But all in all, ergos are very, very nice. Uh, very good. Contoured scales helps as well. The clip disappears. No hot spots. No pinch points. Texturing, texturing, texturing on the scales. I approve. Action running on Foster Bronze washers. Yeah. Um, if you've handled a Deca in recent uh, years, yeah. Honestly, might be smoother than the Deca. It's got a really nice. It's not a super snappy detent, but there's plenty of spring tension on those Omega springs. Reverse flick, thumb flick, idiot proof. Pops right open. Makes a good noise doing it. No lock stick, nothing like that. It's just a simple, no nonsense EDC knife that is fully ambidextrous because we do have the axis lock. Yeah, I mean, good on Hogue. And these are relatively affordable when they're in stock. Sub 200 bucks, future me, right? Like, all, like not all that crazy, especially 20 CV American made, you know, and a portion of the sale goes to knife rights. I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. I do believe these are a knife works.com exclusive so i'll have links down there they kind of come and go the stock on these but action's good acoustics buttery smooth i mean it just drop shuts on those foster bronze washers which is rare benchmade can't seem to do it spider co it's like 50 50 is usually got to break them in a little bit really kind of fine-tune the action but this is you know she just drops. I've never had a factory fresh one, so I don't know. Maybe you have to break this in as well. I, look, I don't know. But that is the Ritter Hogue. RSK Future Me. 
Mark min, Mini Mark One. I I don't know, dude. I have no idea. But it is a delightful little thing. I get the love for it. I really do. I appreciate it. Very reminiscent of the um, the grip, the Griptilian, bitch made Griptilian, but uh, better and cheaper from what I understand. So there you go. Uh, I do want to cut something with both of these real quick. Let me uh, let me grab the paper. Both. This one's in 20 CV. The fixed blade is in S45 VN. Let's try the uh, mini Ritter Hogue. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if this is a factory edge. I don't think it is. It's damn near mirror polished. But, ugh. yeah, she cuts. Thin blade stock, great cutting geometry. Nice and thin behind the edge. Really tall flat grind. Money. It's money, dude. Hell yeah. Cuts like a damn dream. Oh, I'm impressed. Ritter Hogue, man. I get it. I can't believe it's taken me four years to even, like, touch one of these, let alone get it on the channel. And how about the big old daddy? The big Hogue Fix Blade <laughs> in S45VN. Uh, again, similar blade shape. Uh, much taller flat grind, but also much thicker blade, blade stock. Factory edge on this one. Can't really tell. Oh, God. She's still cut. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> There's something so satisfying about a really slicey fixed blade. I just, I feel like I could go to war. I feel like I could go to battle. And I'll be just fine, dude. Slice and hack into my enemies. Excellent. Excellent. Doug Ritter, he's a legend for a reason. Uh, and, you know, it may have taken me four years to get any of his knives on the channel, but check out Knife Rights, link down below. I will try to link these down below. Knife Works exclusive, so check the description. But that is it. That is episode one of... What will probably be a 40 episode series, so stick around for the next couple of months. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, become a channel member, Patreon member, hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. That is it! I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye now.